Let's add an output device like a printer or a cutter in Production Manager. Okay, let's add a device to Production Manager. These are printers, cutters that you need to add in order to uh, get your job done. Uh, if you don't have any already loaded, what will happen is it will actually stop at a setup page right here. So you have color printers, hybrid devices, those might be printers with cutters already installed, and vinyl cutters. Let's install a printer first. Click on the brand name, just choose whatever name is appropriate. Uh, it could be a Roland, you can see almost every printer out there is supported. Uh, I'll go to say Muto and we'll add something there. Uh, let's see, where are we here? There we go. And then you just pick from the list of all the models. And you can see a lot of different models are already here. So you should be able to find the one that you need. Okay. Click Next. And this point is going to ask you how to communicate with your printer or cutter. So this would be, in this case, an IP address. It could be a COM port and so forth. You can also click on Find Printer and it will actually search your network to find the printer uh, address. You can just click on OK and then it will it'll actually add the address in for you. You should probably test it to make sure that it's connected correctly. Click OK when everything's all right there and finish and basically that's going to load that printer. Now let's load a cutter also. You can go to File and, and uh, or Setup, excuse me, and add, add Setup or you can just click the plus mark over here where it says Add a Device. Okay. Let's do a vinyl cutter. All right, so again, you just scroll through to find the kind of cutter that you want. Be very specific about the model number and so forth. So in this case, I'll add a, a GravTech, let's just say, hit Next. And in the case of the GravTech, it's a USB device, so you can communicate by USB in this case. You just click Finish, and it's gonna add that particular device. So uh, if you have a hybrid device, this, these are devices that typically have a cutter included with the printer. So Roland's, uh, Mimaki, some of the others out there. Let's go with a Roland in our case. And again, all the models are listed. You just choose the model number that you think is appropriate, the one that's right here, and click Next. And again, type in the actual communication point port. I'm just typing in a fake number here. Just And again, you could hit Find Printer. That's an easy way to, to find your printer. Click OK and Finish. And again, that's going to be added in a tab up here. So basically what happens is you're going to have tabs at the top that have all your device names up here. Now remember, you can always go to Printer Profiles and download the profiles for that device. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. And I think you'll be able to set up your devices very easily. It's always a good idea to click on the device and then go to Setup and send a test print to make sure it's communicating properly. Once that's done, test print, test cut, test print, then you're assured that you're communicating properly with your device and you'll be able to print and cut anytime you want. Guess what? It's just that easy with Flexi.